so we are leaving for spring break in a couple days and I have a 12, 10, and eight year old, two boys and one girl. And I'd like to show you what I'm packing to keep them busy on our trip. I'm gonna go over activities, um, special little books, things to keep them busy in the car, and then also how we do snacks. Come along. Welcome to Vio's Travel. Where to go and what to see. With kids. <laughs> Okay, like I said, we have a road trip coming up and we are going to be driving for two full days on the way there and then two full days on the way back. So I have packed up a bunch of things to keep my kids busy and let me show you what I've got. So I bought these probably a year or two ago. They're definitely not in the best shape, but they are sturdy, they hold up well, they're big. They're probably an inch and a half, two inches thick, so it holds a lot of stuff gives them a surface to do their work on or to play on. It has a clipboard to hold papers or notebooks. It's got two little sections for smaller things and then this bigger section down here for pencils or whatever. And you open it up and it's got a couple little flaps and then this big area that fits a whole bunch of stuff. So this is for my 10 year, or not 10 yet. Oh my goodness, she's eight. What am I thinking? My eight year old daughter. I got this at Dollar Tree. It's a color form thing with their little stickers, but they just, they don't have adhesive on the back. They stick, they're just vinyl cuts at cutouts and you can move them around. So there's a little scene thing that she can play with. I also have just plain paper tucked in here for all of my kids. Got this little journal at Dollar Tree. So everything there is $1.25 now. This I found for $3 at Target. It's a fingerprint book it does have that little ink pad so i'm going to be giving her wipes to keep her fingers clean but you just use little fingerprints to add details to the pages I picked out a couple coloring books at dollar tree and then these funny faces sticker books at the dollar tree also so that's her little stash Next thing, my boys are 10 and 11, actually 10 and 12 right now, but they're just 16 months apart. So I get them pretty much the same thing. This child had saved this. I got this from Dollar Tree about a year ago. It's a little Etch-a-Sketch. He saved that, like I said, and he also saved this little board. So these are not new things. This is a little labyrinth. There's a, oh, you know these things. Where's the little ball? Anyway, it's already down in the hole. It's a little labyrinth thing that I bought at a Dollar Tree. He loves music. So I have, I found this, and this is older too. He's kept this from our last trip. It's just a book about songwriting. And then I gave him a notebook where he could try to read or try to write his own songs. He's a math guy, so Sudoku, um, normal paper. This was another thing that he kept in his binder from last trip. This was a dollar at uh, Target in their dollar aisle. They don't have them anymore, but it's a whole pad of the same sheets. I got these hardback notebook thingamabobs at Dollar Tree. I think they'll think those are pretty cool. It's a, like I said, it's a hardcover. Open it up and it's a whole notepad. And then a more sophisticated coloring book for him. Okay, that's his stash. And then my other son, he, sa he saved a couple things too. This was from our last trip. This was also in the Target dollar aisle. It's not there anymore, unfortunately, but it's a pad of the same games over and over. He is a journal guy. I think I showed you this in my last video, but it's a journal all about ruining the pages. Oh, let me show you. This was about $10 at Target. Smear something glossy here. Cut the edges of this page to make fringe. Um, some of these things he won't be able to do in the car. Smear this page with ketchup, mustard, ranch, or whatever you love. So this is kind of a fun journal. Gross. He didn't do much of it last time, but he saved it. I've got another hardback notebook. And then he's actually older, but he requested a superhero coloring book. He loves to draw. This is from Dollar Tree also. It gives you step-by-step instructions on how to draw 
different animals. They had different, they had one for animals, they had one for plants, they had another, they had all kinds of how to draw. And then another more sophisticated coloring book. He had saved this one from last time too. In my last video, I showed you that I found these games, they're color forms again, like that like sticker pack that I showed you of Frozen for my daughter. Color forms are just little vinyl stickers that do not have adhesive on the back, but they stick, they're repositionable. And um, so I picked up Trouble. And this is what comes in the pack. So it has these little play, I don't know. I don't know what you call them. They're the little things that you move around on the board. It does come with a tiny little die. You pull these little guys off and stick those on each of the little things to play on. And then I guess those stick on the board. And then it came with an instruction packet. I also got, guess who? And like I said before, these are from Dollar Tree. They're only $1.25. So this one came with a little frame, a color form frame to stick around the person that you're choosing. And again, these are repositionable. And came with little question mark. I guess you put these over the face if, um, I, I don't know, I'll have to read the instructions. Anyway, then two playing cards and instructions. And then I also have a pencil pack for each of them. I like to put little extra erasers on them because we don't want the erasers to be gone in one sitting. Then I always sharpen the pencils. I do have one small pencil sharpener that I give to my oldest to kind of keep track of. I also love these twistable colored pencils. They have twistable crayons, but I'm not sure if those would melt in the car or not. These do really great in heat and I love them because you don't have to sharpen them. I've got 18 of them. I'll divide them up with, between the three kids. And I have some extras from a prior trip that I'm gonna add into the mix so they'll each get a few more. This I picked up at Dollar Tree for $1.25. There are eight pens and they all mark a different color. So I'll divide those up between the kids too. Okay, snacks. So I found these cool little containers at Dollar Tree about a year or so ago. I did not see them this time around. I don't know if your store might have them or not, but they were only a dollar and they had this little lid that automatically closed. I got one for each of the kiddos and we tried this last trip and they loved it. I packed them full of snacks and it's their job when they want to eat them. And like I said, I've got a couple older kids or they're all three a little bit older. They're not toddlers or babies. So they can kind of decide when they're going to eat them and when not. So I have a Nutella breadstick and little dipper thing for each of them. Tic Tacs are fun. They're just small little candies. So I have a Tic Tac for each of them. They had different flavors. Got a little thing of gum for each of them. Those are all the same, so at least they won't fight over those. <laughs> I have, and we have two full days, so I probably won't leave all of this in these containers. I'll spread these up between two different days, but I have a thing of Chips Ahoy cookies. They've got these little um, tops on them, so if they don't finish the entire thing in one setting, they can put the lid on it. Okay, so these are Aldi goldfish. They're little turtles, and my kids actually like these better than normal goldfish. So these are not in individual bags, and they're not each getting a big bag. So I like these little snack pack or portion pack bags from Target. I make a bag for each of them. And same thing for, um, my kids love these banana chips. And um, it does have a resealable top, so I can keep the rest up front with me. But I've made a little bag for each of them of those. <clears throat> we also get Slim Jims. These are knockoff Kroger kind, but they're the same thing. Usually put two of those in each. I got these cheese head combo packs. I thought the cheese and the sticks were in the same packaging. They're not, but it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Probably each give them a cheese and I mean, I've already given them a couple um, a Slim Jims, so I'll probably keep these up front with me. And then more snacks that I keep up in front for me and my husband. We have a big bag of cashews. I'll probably distribute those because my kids love those as well, but I make sure that they have a resealable top. My husband's favorite. I always have a bag of Twizzlers. I keep those up front with me too. 
Um, and then more. These are a little bit healthier. They're turkey sticks. These are not individually wrapped, so I'll keep these up front with me if anybody needs a little pack of protein during our trip. And they don't have one in their little box, but this is resealable also. One more thing I'm taking with us, and it's not necessarily in the kids' stuff, but it is for the whole family. But if you have a fourth grader, you can go to everykidoutdoors.gov and print off a free pass that will look like this. If you are headed to any national parks, this will get your child, your fourth grader, and everybody else in the family, everybody else in the car, into any national park in the entire United States for free for an entire year. So you take this page to the first national park that you go to, turn it in, they'll scan it, and they'll actually give you a little card, like a little credit card sized card to take with you, and that will get you in free to all national parks for a year. So we have one of these passes. We're gonna be hitting up a couple different national monuments and a national seashore for stamps in our passport book. If you don't know it about passport books, I have another video all about that, so check it out. Thank you so much for coming along with me. I will link that storage clipboard in the description below in case you're interested in one of your own. And as always, I hope that you remember to choose joy and take all of the pictures.